Welcome guys to my very first video. Uh, today what we're going to be doing is uh, taking you through a very basic wash uh, and what better car to do it on than this classic 1958 MGA. Okay, now the products we're going to be using today are actually all from Bowden's own, uh, like this car care cleaning range. Um, we're going to be starting off with Wheelie Clean, um, basically really fast acting um, brake dust remover. We're going to then go on to apply Snow Job Okay, fantastic little uh, pre-wash there. Nanolicious wash, gonna be drying it up, before we dry it up actually, sorry, with some wet dreams. Boss gloss to dry, and then we'll finish up the glass with some naked glass. Now, three buckets to wash the car. This one here, it's gonna have our wash suds in it. This one here is a rinse bucket, clean water only, and that one there is for the wheels. All right, also got a little wire brush there, one for the tires, the yellow one there for the tires. And a paintbrush actually really, really good for getting in between those spokes, especially on your classic car. Here, wheelie clean. Uh, I've already gone through, just sprayed the wheel. Go around, spray the outside of the wheel first, then go in, spray the hub, and then finish up on the spokes. Now, you can see that reacting already, it's sort of got this purplish tinge. Um, that reaction is, is the product reacting with the brake dust, um, which is, is really, really cool. So I'll go around and spray all four wheels first, uh, while that's sitting on for about five minutes. Basically, what I'll do is go through, and uh, start the snow foam, all right? Really important, These all these products that I use today are on a cool car, nothing that's been sitting out in the sun, no hot wheels, anything like that. Let the car sit there before you actually get it, get going with any of these products. Uh, I've got my snow, snow job uh, already pre-mixed here. 100 mils of uh, your snow job to uh, 900 mils water is the mixing ratio here. Uh, nice dry car. Uh, it's got a bit of a film and dust over it, so this has actually really worked perfectly. All right, we'll start the front, work our way around, and I'll show you the end. I've got my snow job sitting on the paintwork now. Um, got my wheelie clean working away. It's absolutely sensational. Luke. Anyway, um, wire brush. Okay, it's going to be fantastic for getting in the scope into the spokes there. Just work your way around the wheel. Get it nice and deep in there. Try to get the back of the wheel going as well, nice and clean. And while you're doing that, it's going to also work around the brake drum. Yeah, that's right, brake drum. Working all the way around with your wire brush. Really good for getting in between the spokes and around the hub. All right. And then, any little tip, paintbrush. Paintbrush works really well for getting into where that, that wire brush can't get in. All right. So again, working around the wheel. I tend not to use a, a sponge so much for this part. Uh, there's really not much a sponge can do that these brushes can't do really. All right. And the paintbrush just sort of really allows you to get in there nicely. Make sure you get a good quality paintbrush too. Don't just get one of those sort of cheap normal ones. Um, get something that's really nice and soft so you're not going to damage your rim there too much. And then my tyre brush. All right. Work the tyre nice and clean. A good clean tyre. You can get rid of all the silicones that might be on there. Um, it just comes out perfect. Uh, snow job's been on there for about five minutes now, possibly a little bit longer. Been around, done all the wheels and tyres. It's time to rinse off the snow job and give those tyres and wheels a clean. Here we go. As you're going around rinsing the car, just make sure you maintain that distance from the paintwork too. Now I've rinsed off the snow job. It's all ready for the Nanolicious wash, um, which I've got my, my wash mitt in the uh, suds bucket just there behind me. And then I've got a rinse bucket next to that. So I'll be dunking my sponge into the wash bucket, washing the panel work, uh, and then into the uh, rinse bucket before I place it back into the wash bucket. You'll see as I go. Uh, really important too, nice long strokes along the panel, okay? You don't want to be going around in circles. That only sort of encourages all the swirls and your paintwork and that sort of thing. So another really important step is to sort of maintain all the high parts of the car first before you go down around the base of the car. That's generally where all the grime, the dirt's going to be, um, especially around the back end of the car too. So just start in the highest point, work your way down.
Perfect dreams. Absolute beautiful product, this one here. Uh, makes the car super hydrophobic, uh, making that water just bead off it uh, sensationally. Um, and a stunning gloss, just sort of makes this red pop. So, um, super easy to use. Um, basically got applicator pad, uh, I use it on wet, so the car has just been rinsed down. Um, so it is still wet here. One really, really important thing with this product is A, don't use it in, in, in anywhere near the sun, okay? You don't want this product to dry on the, on the car at all. Um, and two, again, keep those nice, long, even strokes happening, okay? Um, remember, don't let it dry on the car. Today, where the, the weather is just a, it's probably, I don't know, about 25 degrees. So, what I will be doing is actually rinsing that off the guard right now. Uh, I won't go around and do the whole car, I'll just do guard by guard, just to keep it nice and safe. Um, and I'll show you the results. Okay, gone with the uh, high pressurized hose there. Back to the garden hose. All right. So good rinse. Actually, leaving nothing on the, on the car here. A really good rinse down. Dreams taken off. I've rinsed it all off. Uh, it's time to flood the panels uh, and I'll show you how good this stuff really is. Um, I really can't talk highly enough of it. Water just sheets off um, absolutely magically. Sorry about the back pain. Lights gone past, but hey, can't control that. That truly is magic product. Stunning. I told you it'd be easy to dry this off. Kind of cheat a little bit. I blow all the all the water out of the cracks and crevices. Dry your wheels really easily with a blower. Uh, second last step, basically, uh, false gloss. Why don't you sort of just spray this on the big greenie here, big drying towel, all right? Both sides, give it a good, good soak. one window on this thing so nice and easy naked glass so simple spray on this is actual glass cloth spray on one side it's my way of doing it with a good spray uh, and then wipe off with the dry side okay guys Let's wrap this up. Hopefully uh, I've given you some enjoyment, something to watch during this time when we're all locked inside. Uh, she's come up absolutely beautiful. Okay, this is a basic wash, okay? Um, this isn't going into detail too much. I can bring that in to a few other videos up the track. Uh, if you liked what I did today, please like it. Please subscribe. Um, and if you did notice the t-shirt and you like it, uh, I'll put a link down the bottom as well. Uh, get on there um, and get yourself a t-shirt. There's some hats, there's some beanies as well. If you like what you've seen in the Bowden Zone products, I'll put a link there. Get on there, buy any products you like there, and I'm sure they will not disappoint you. And also, this is not a paid ad for Bowden Zone, all right? I can tell you that right now. I messaged them, asked them if it was okay to use their products in the video. They said, yeah, great, fantastic. All products were purchased by myself. It's a choice by myself to use these products. They're a great product. I'm sure you'll get the same enjoyment as I do out of them. Just make sure you use them properly.